Hi, welcome to another episode of Mushrooms with Marie. Today, we're going to be making some mushroom flatbread. We're going to take that discard water that we used on our last project, and we're going to turn that into bread, and then we're going to press mushrooms into it and bake it. Who's ready to bake? Cloverleaf Farms DC presents Mushrooms with Marie. Mushroom flatbread. Our discard water from the other day looks nice and bubbly. I'm going to save most of it and only use about a cup for our recipe. The rest of it goes into a jar so it can breathe in the refrigerator. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of sugar as well as one tablespoon of dry yeast. I'm using my hand mixer to mix all the ingredients to make sure everything gets coated. Consider a towel and then just wait one hour. It's been an hour. Let's look at it. Looks good. Time to add in some eggs. For this recipe, I'm adding in three mini chicken eggs from our farm. In addition to one cup of flour. My recipe also calls for one teaspoon of salt. Use your hand mixer once more until it looks kind of like pancake batter, and then wait one hour, covering it once more. One hour later. I used my dehydrator on a low mode to encourage the yeast to have increased activity. Let's see how it looks. Not quite ready yet. A little bit more time, perhaps. Eventually. This looks great. This is exactly how it should look. Now we're going to add in two more cups of flour and a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil. This is now too thick for a hand mixer, so I switched over to a silicone spatula. I'm folding everything together, but clearly I can see I'm going to have to hand toss this. This looks good. Let's hand toss this on a floured surface. My goal here is to just add a little bit of flour at a time until this is able to be handled without being entirely sticky. We're looking to be able to handle the dough with our fingers and not have any dough pull away and attach to our hands. This flatbread was pretty sticky and I needed about three handfuls of flour before it got to the point where I could really work it into a flatbread shape. So my goal here is to be able to get the dough where it can flatten out. As you can see, it's still very nice and bulbous, so it needs a little bit more work. I'm going to be folding it in on itself, and now I start to scoop it inward on itself to create that flat bread texture that I'm looking for. Once the dough is no longer sticky, and I've rolled it in on itself several times, you see that the flat bread texture starts to emerge, and it becomes easier to work with more work you do now to flatten the dough before you have to press in your mushrooms and your cheese or whatever else you're going to press into your flatbread. This is where you're laying the groundwork. Great! Bread looks good. It's going to rest and now we're going to prepare our mushrooms and our cheese. My local grocer had some beautiful baby Bella mushrooms. I'm going to be slicing these up just like I did for our last recipe and then we will be pressing them into the dough before baking. Since Paul is testing this, we're going to use Swiss cheese. I'm going to flatten out my flatbread into its final form after I cut it in half. Using a fork, I'm piercing the bread to prevent excess bubblage so I have some spaces to put my mushrooms and my cheese. Mm -hmm. 
Now is the time to decorate our flatbreads. I'm going to be pressing in the mushrooms into both. I didn't have enough mushrooms cut up here. I needed to actually cut up about two more mushrooms to have enough to cover both the flatbreads sufficiently. I tried to press the squares of Swiss cheese in between my mushroom slices. Some of them had some overlap. It really turned out okay. Using another mini chicken egg, I'm going to be using my pastry brush to brush an egg wash over the top of both of the breads, being sure to pay attention to the bread parts. If I get a little bit of egg on my cheese or on my mushrooms, it's really okay. It's going to look and taste delicious. My final step is to sprinkle some of that beautiful pink Himalayan flake salt over both of the breads. This recipe calls for two temperatures. Our starting temperature is going to be 350 degrees and we're going to be setting our timer for six minutes. six minutes let's take a look everything looks good set our timer for 21 minutes and reduce our temperature down to 325 degrees L is absolutely amazing I can't wait to taste this bread. It's one of the best smelling breads I've ever baked. I think it's time to taste this bread. Who is ready to taste bread with me? and cheesy and yummy. Lovely stuff. Well done. Okay, go. This one had a little bit of mushroom in it also. It was salty too. Nice and salty like a pretzel. Yummy. Would you recommend? Oh, absolutely. Fun, fun food. Very tasty. Light, flaky, flavorful, and yummy. All right, here we go. Mmm. It is light. It has a nice light, airy flavor to the bread. It's definitely not sweet. No. 